Okay, I'm gonna try this for the first time. I've I've never learned, nor have I wanted to mess with learning how to edit videos to where I can put part one, part two, part three together. But I have figured out that I can pause a video in the middle of my repairs, hoping uh, to be able to make a video before and after. Uh, so today on the Modern Day MacGyver YouTube video, uh, we're gonna be doing some more plastic repairs. I know I've got other videos uh, older years and years ago when I was repairing plastic bumpers and running boards on uh, vehicles and um, I wanted to update uh, some new tricks that I've learned uh, first of all before I go farther I'm still not sponsored so for anybody that thinks I'm being paid to do any of this I'm not although I wouldn't mind that and um, I kept seeing these commercials for these uh, plastic welders on different social media sites that would have these little these little um, things that you click into the gun and then you pull the trigger and you melt it and you push it in to kind of fix cracked bumpers and things I found this on Amazon for 50 bucks came as a whole kit I got the 100 watt they do sell 50 watt for $30 uh, I don't know how the 50 watt works but I can promise you this 100 watt plastic welder is the best thing I've ever bought uh, when it comes to welding plastics. I wanted to show you what I'm dealing with today. My brother-in-law here in Bristol, Oklahoma is the king of decorations when it comes to Halloween and Christmas. This used to be uh, those old-fashioned candles. You see the yellow tops back there in the back? But they he found them at a yard sale just shattered, busted. Pieces are all missing. I already started last night trying to start rebuilding this one. The whole top was missing here, and this ring that the yellow actually attaches to was down inside the unit. Um, and so what I started doing last night, I searched around, being a MacGyver, uh, I searched around for whatever plastics I can find. I found that the uh, this brand of milk jug is actually very, very thick uh, plastic. And uh, so what I did was I melted that in that gun that also stitches uh, plastics together has an attachment that goes on to it that you can use as a hot knife to smooth. Now if you don't have that gun, I've also used a putty knife and a propane torch or something or a candle, get it really hot to melt the plastic back on. But I basically, where all this was missing on this one, I cut out the flat parts of the old milk jug, melted it together. I do want to tell you some of the things um, that you want to invest in. I love the JB Weld brands of things. This is a two-part epoxy, plastic weld, JB Weld. Uh, hit me up for a sponsorship. I love your stuff. Also, Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Products, Gorilla Tape, and Gorilla Glue, amazing stuff. But when it comes to plastic, this one's not going to work for plastic. This is great on wood. Don't ever forget, if you do start to use this for the first time, the brown is like expandable foam. It expands. The clear version of this doesn't, and it's amazing as well. But anyway, I'm going to keep the pause for a minute, and I am going to start cutting plastic pieces, and I am going to start rebuilding the top of this one here and trying to uh, reattach the ring where it goes. I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, guys, I do have to say I've got an amazing wife. Yes, I'm in her kitchen. Um, she allows me to do projects inside the house. Uh, I've even, in the wintertime, I've even fiberglassed some fenders for one of the gospel groups, Master's Voice, here in my wife's living room. Um, but you can see here I'm in stage one. I have simply taken the hot iron and I have put all the pieces back together. If you're ever even halfway thinking something might be precious or worth money or rare, like these, believe it or not, are worth a lot of money, um, save every piece. If something breaks, save all the pieces. You hit a deer and you see pieces of your grill all over the road, besides the fact that it's littering, pick up every piece. Because even if you can't afford to replace it, um, if you watch some of my videos, you'll find out how you can put it back together and actually buy some time until you can afford a new one. On to the next step. I'm going to be next working on two-part epoxy. If you've never done it before, 
It's literally equal parts. One is resin, one is hardener. You pour it into a container, mix it, and this one here is a five minute epoxy. Realistically, if you mix it right, you've got about five to ten minutes of it being pliable, but man, when it turns, it turns hard fast. Uh, when I was first out of trade school with my automotive engineering degree, I mean, I thought I was smart and ready to conquer everything in engineering and automotive, and I learned more in the first six months in a shop working under an awesome man by the name of Marty McCullough. He taught me so many things. I love you, Marty, if you ever see this. Thank you for the heritage you gave me, uh, the tricks you taught me, and my pop. He's the one that started it all in me that made me want to go on to learn to fix things. But yes, this is just a paint can, but the other things that will work are Pepsi cans, any kind of a can. Marty taught me there is no better mixing container than the bottom of a can when I'm mixing up my JB Weld or my epoxy, I just use the bottom of the can, mix the two parts, and then I'm going to literally pour it on this and start building the layers to make this solid again. I'll be back with y'all for the next phase. I wanted you to get to see this. We're literally just now about to, about to uh, do the first coat of the epoxy, but it's just no, no special trick. I know a lot of these things are intimidating until you use them the first time. But two-part epoxy, some of them come like that JB Weld tube over there of the plastic weld that'll come in a squirt out deal. Some of them even have the, the mixing device on the actual deal. But I do so many repairs, I have to get it in these larger bottles because I use this everything. Construction, automotive, inside the house, hobbies, crafts. I literally have a set of bottles probably in four or five different locations in my toolboxes. But I wanted you to see it's not rocket science. It's literally just mixing up your own and then it starts setting up quick. So that's why I need to set this to pause and then come back to you in a second. This is the first coat of epoxy poured over the top. It's basically liquid plastic. And as it starts setting up, once it's hard, it's going to be hard as a rock. Here's a sneak preview of where we are now. Um, the epoxy is actually still sitting up. And I'm going to let my brother-in-law, Hunter, go ahead and do the paint job on them. Um, but uh, this is another successful uh, pl uh, plastic weld, plastic repair Um we actually even had to fabricate plastic and put plastic back where there was no pieces to even go back. So please make sure uh, if you've enjoyed the crazy video of this redneck fixing stuff, click like, click share. Check out my other videos there on The Modern Day MacGyver on YouTube. My wife started that account because she was watching me do this kind of crazy stuff every day of the week. And she's like, you know, there's people that would probably enjoy learning how to repair stuff rather than throw it in the trash and that's me I'm old school all the way I don't throw things away if there's any possible way of getting to repurpose it or use it again I love to do that and I love teaching to show people how they can save some money but these silly things he was showing me a post on the internet that three of them were up for sale for like 270 bucks or something like that and he found these broken at a yard sale and he knew that his brother-in-law could do something with them so Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to uh, keep spreading love. I love every one of y'all. I appreciate everybody that shares my videos. And uh, even if they're sharing them just to make fun of me, I still enjoy it. But uh, I love being able to help people, bless people. And this is going to be another decoration that blesses my hometown community as my brother-in-law sets them up this Christmas season. Thank y'all for tuning in. Keep spreading love.